Now, a few years ago, one of our clients asked us this important problem, which is to predict who, which patients are not likely to take their drugs on time. Okay, this was the problem framed at us, and we ended up building a whole, whole host of models. Uh, and, and what we discovered after building those models was that the best, est best guess about who, which patients will take their drugs on time is to look at what they did the last six months. If you are a kind of person who does not take their drugs on time, you will continue not take your drugs on time. And none of our analytical models could do much better than that. Right? There were, we, we made some major, minor improvements, but what we realized is that the implementation cost is just too high. And we said, you know what, this problem, the best, best guess as to who is not going to take their drugs on time is just past behavior. Now, and, and therefore, we closed off that project as, a, as a, not a very big success. Right? Now, when we look back and think about what this problem really was, this was not about predicting medication adherence. The real problem here was improving medication adherence. And if we had just stepped back and said, no, the whole idea is improving medication adherence, it's not just about predicting, and maybe prediction is not even required. You know, when we, make, when we, when we fr frame this problem as a prediction problem of who is likely to take their drugs on time, we are making an assumption. The assumption we are making is that it is very expensive to, in, to do any intervention with pati all patients. Therefore, I must direct my attention on the few patients that are not likely to take their drugs on time so that they will start taking their drugs on time. And that's not necessarily a good assumption. Maybe there are very cost-effective ways of uh, improving medication adherence. And if you looked at that, we may have hit upon solutions like these. Now, this is a solution uh, called PillPack, um, uh, so bought by Amazon for a billion dollars uh, last year. And what it does is it basically it uses a sophisticated set of robotics and AI, but it, what it does is simplifies the consumption of medication by giving them a daily dosage. You can just pair, t peel off that dose for the day, and all your drugs will be there in that one pack. And every day, you know exactly. At every day or every time of the day, it'll give you exactly what you need to take, especially for people who take a lot of medicines. This is a this is really simple, intuitive solution and improves medication adherence. Now, we couldn't have hit upon the solution if we had taken the limited view of the problem that we had taken at that time. So a great idea is to always never to actually take the problem statement as a given, but to really challenge and say, you know, do we really understand this? Is this broad enough? Is this, uh, do we have a measurable way of success? When we challenge the problem statement and tinker with it and revisit it every so often during the entire engagement lifecycle, we've seen that we are able to solve problems better.